Why am I staying with my aunt instead of going abroad with you? Because your father and I have two weeks of very important work abroad and I won't stand. A hyperactive 15-year-old teenager like you. You are so destructive. Come on, Daniel, your aunt is such a nice person. She also lives alone. So you can be friends with her for a while. So she doesn't feel alone. Yes, yes, whatever. Daniel, my dear, long time no see. I miss you so much. I missed you too, auntie. We're going for two weeks. If he gives you trouble, call me right away. I will give him the necessary answer. Don't worry, we get along very well. Okay, then take care of yourself. We will constantly call and inform you. See you, Daniel. See you, mom. All right, Daniel. We will be together for two weeks. I am sure we will get along very well. First of all, this house has a few rules. Let me tell you these things now so that we don't have any problems later. First, you will be at the table at meal time. Secondly, the phone will not be used at the dinner table. Third, no swearing. Wherever you go, you will let me know. And the last rule is, don't open that door. I don't understand the last rule. Why shouldn't I open that door? Because there are tools in the room behind that door that could be dangerous to you. You are entrusted to me. I don't want you injured. Understood. I am already wondering what was going on behind that door. Yes man, I'm staying with my aunt for a while. I wish my family had taken me with them. Unfortunately they didn't. My aunt is not a bad person. She's pretty boring except for one incident. She has a door in her house. She told me not to open that door while she was counting the house rules today. She said there are dangerous tools for me inside. I didn't really believe this lie. She's probably hiding something. Maybe this won't make my two weeks here as boring as I thought. I will inform you. See you later. Game over. This game is very difficult. I can't even count how many times I've died. I don't see my aunt around. If I open the door and look inside, she probably won't notice. Daniel. Yes. There are old game consoles that you can play here. Let's look together. You can take anything you want between them. Okay, I am coming. One day I will definitely open this door. How was your day Daniel? It was nice. You follow all the rules, including the last one, right? Of course. You wouldn't be here if you didn't follow the rules anyway. I do not understand. Just a little joke, honey. Keep going like this. It's been four days and I can't hold back anymore. I'm so curious about what's going on behind that door that there isn't a moment when I don't think about it. I can't stand it anymore. I'm tired of all my aunt's warnings. I'm going to put an end to this tonight. When I'm sure my aunt is asleep tonight, I'll go to that door and open it. At first I wanted there to be a very big secret behind the door. But I don't think I want that anymore. I just want what my aunt said to be true. So I can relax and enjoy the rest of my days here. I can do that. I cannot see anything. I need to turn on the light. What the f My aunt is a murderer. I have to get out of here now. Daniel. What are you doing here? You freak murderer. You made the mistake of your life by opening this door, Daniel. I am not a murderer. I am a servant who believes in my own God. 
I sacrificed these human beings to my god. Because they didn't deserve to live, my god said. Now you don't deserve to live with this big mistake you made. First I will sacrifice you, then your family. Since they have raised a sinful child like you, they don't deserve to live either. Stay away from me. Come here, Daniel. I am not, but my God is forgiving. Maybe my God will forgive you if you are sacrificed for him. Center. Unit 5 is speaking. I got a report from the house. The reporter's name is Daniel. Daniel is just a kid. According to him, he had been staying with his aunt for a week. His family is abroad. Suspecting that his aunt was hiding something, he began to investigate. When he went down to the basement of the house, he saw that his aunt was a human sacrifice. While trying to escape, he met his aunt. And had to kill his aunt with a knife. Daniel is in shock. After he told me about the incident, he didn't say a word to anyone. We are investigating the veracity of the incident. However, a support team is required. Very bad things are happening here. <laughs>